Leo, go on. Go on. You guys can't be up here. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry. I was a couple minutes late. Um, I was having some technical difficulties, of course. There's always technical difficulties. Uh, my cats are all over my work area, so I have to kick them out. Hi, Finley and Anna. Hi. Um, so, welcome to art class, everyone. We're going to get started in just a couple minutes. Oop, i got to take my, uh, my brace off here. It's because... I've been wearing this because I've been making way too much art and I have to uh, keep my wrists protected. So I'm going to set this down. Sometimes it's a little hard to draw with. But um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Can everybody hear me pretty good? Can you hear me? Uh, while we're waiting for everybody to get here, if you want to, in the comments, you can leave a comment. Hi, Mitchell and Marshall. You can go ahead and say where you're from, um, where you're from, and um, if this is your first class or not. You can tell me where you're from, if this is your first class or not, and then we will get started in just a couple of minutes. Just a couple minutes. All right. So what do we need for today? Ooh, first live class. Yay. Live classes are fun. I think they're fun, especially because they're, they're interactive. So we can kind of talk back and forth and it's real time. Ooh, we've got Jocelyn and Ethan. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, first class, yay, Haley and Wyatt. The Georgia girls are there, are here too. I'm so glad everybody's joining in. I'm so sorry I was late. Um, I was having some technical difficulties. So uh, parents, if you try to do a live using Internet Explorer, it will not work. Just an FYI, you have to use Chrome. Um, Internet Explorer, I know it's old. It it uh, it doesn't seem to um, doesn't seem to work. Um, I couldn't get my camera. It says it won't use my camera won't work with with that. So that's why I was late. I was like, what is going on? I started sweating and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this to work. I need this to work. So I'm gonna turn the music off. Um, I've been in the studio. Well, I was really busy today. I had. I had classes this morning, um, off, not in the studio. Uh, I, I teach classes elsewhere, so I was teaching classes this morning. Then I came back, and I did some work in the studio and did some, did some um, website work, and now I'm teaching this online class. So welcome, 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 everyone. If this is your first time, hi, Liam and Hadley, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time, welcome to class. Oh, yeah, I see some people are returning. I'm so glad. And we've got, oh, Rain, this is your first class. Well, welcome, welcome. Hello, Anthony. Hi, Olivia. Everybody, welcome. Wow, lots of, lots of first timers. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Jill. Um, I'm so glad you guys are here. So let me tell you a little bit about what we're making today. Oh, my gosh, it's so cute. So this is the project. Uh, this is the cutest panda bear, and I'm going to show you how to draw this. Um, so you can use some different supplies for this. So the, the very first thing you do is definitely need a piece of paper. So you're going to need some paper. You also need a pencil and an eraser. Of course, my cats, uh, my cats decided to play around with all this stuff. So you need a pencil and an eraser. Hi, Delaney. Welcome to class. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, Rachel. Welcome to class. I'm glad the girls are joining in. Um, so again, you need you need a paper, you need, you need paper. Um, you need pencil and an eraser. And then you want a black um 
black utensils. So I like to use a black Sharpie. Um, I use Sharpies a lot in the studio um, for our projects. Um, so you, you want a black marker and that's to outline everything. So I outlined everything. Um, and then I also colored in all of the black using the black Sharpie. Uh, you don't have to use black Sharpie, but you definitely want a black writing utensil because, you know, the panda is black. So you're going to need black. Um, and then the other coloring utensils, that's completely up to you. Um, I'm going to be using a combination of two things. I'm going to be using super tips. I love these markers. If you don't already have these, you should definitely get them get them. Um, I have them linked to my Amazon store. Um, so if you are looking for awesome art supplies, check out the website. There is a there's a button right at the top of the website that you click on it and it shows you all the art supplies we use in the studio. So it's super awesome. Um, and then I'm also going to be using colored pencils. So that's what I'm going to be using as far as for um, my my coloring utensils. Um, so, and then real quick, I wanted to share what is coming in the studio. So, and online classes. So if you missed last week's classes, there were two art classes last week that maybe you missed, um, and they're behind me here. So there is the penguin right here. This is a mixed media project. And then there is also the love monster. So here's the love monster. And then here is the penguin. Both of these are available on the website. Uh, they are pre-recorded, so you can watch these. Um, they are $10 per device um, and simple art supplies. So the list of everything you need is on the website. And all of this information is under online art classes. So this is what we did last week. It was so much fun. Um, and then this week, obviously, is the panda. This is the online class. And then February 9th, if you're interested, check this out. This is an in-person class. This is a painting. So there's a few spots left for this. This is all on the website if you're interested. Um, and then coming up, not exactly sure when I'm going to be teaching this because I'm doing this for a private event, but look at this llama. Oh, my gosh. Is this not like the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I believe I will be teaching this at some point online after I do the private event. But this one is adorable. I love this llama. So cute. I love llamas. Um, and then I did something else over the weekend that I thought I would share. And I love this too. This is called, I call this Lake Erie Love. Uh, these pebbles are all collected from Lake Erie. So it's painted and then uh, you put the rocks on top. It's very fun. It's kind of heavy though. Um, so that's what's been going on. That's kind of some of the stuff that I've been making in the studio and what's coming or what you've missed. So let's get started on these pandas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this out. So we're going to sketch it out. And remember, because this is something new or you've never done this before, um, you want to draw lightly with your pencil. You don't want to press super, super, super hard. If you press really hard, then the lines are so difficult to get rid of. So, you know, um, press light. Don't apply a ton of pressure. Uh, so we are going to get started again. Welcome to art class. I am Rachel with RLB Art Studio and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable um, love panda bear. So cute and all you need is simple art supplies. Pencils and coloring utensils and a sharpie if you have it. So I love pandas too. They are so cute. In fact I got to see a baby one right after it was well like a little while after it was born a long time ago in San Diego at the zoo. Oh my gosh so cute. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my screen so you can see what I'm drawing. And keep in mind, I'm going to be drawing this upside down. Um, so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing and you can follow along. All right, so here we go. All right, so there's the panda. So the very first thing that we are going to actually start with is the head. So we're going to do the panda's head first. Hi, Ashley and Donovan. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes, I love pandas too. All right, so the head. We're going to start with the head. If you look at the, the panda's head, it's kind of shaped... Um, 
it's kind of circular it's kind of triangular and it's kind of like tilted to the side a little bit so it's it's got a little tilt to it um so over on my paper right here i'm going to make the top of the head i'm going to draw a curved line right about here so right about here i'm going to make a curved line right there kind of like the corner of the paper is here so down from the corner there's my curved line right there there's my curved line okay my first curved line now from here i'm going to come down here and i'm going to draw a bigger curved line right about here bigger curved line there we go there's the top one top curved line and the bottom curved line now the goal what we're trying to do is we want these to connect so i'm going to connect it here like that and then over here i'm going to connect it right over here there we go like this now if you get it a little too pointy it's okay just you know curve it out round it out you can erase these lines later don't worry about it you don't want to keep drawing and erasing that takes too much time so you just leave all these scribble lines because you might actually decide you like one of them better later all right so there we go so there's my head so far there's my head i am so glad you guys are so excited about this project so i've been doing you know happy february 1st it is the month of love and i have been doing i started a um a color challenge so the whole month well not the whole month of february starting today and until february 15th i am going to wear red pink or any color in between every day now it doesn't have to be my whole outfit doesn't have to be cover i don't have to be you know pink from head to toe but i'm going to wear something pink or red or in between every single day until valentine's day is over so if you want to join in on the challenge it's really fun i had a whole bunch of people participate today and they sent me, you know, they tagged me um, or RLB Art Studio and they posted their pictures and I reshared. And oh my gosh, everybody, lots of people were wearing the colors of love today, which I loved. So you guys should join in too. Super fun. All right. So after we have the head, after we've got the head here we are going to move on to the next step move on to the next step so we're moving on moving on moving on to the next step Okay, now what we're going to do is we are actually going to work on this part right here. So we're going to make a curved line like this right here. And then we're going to start at the head. We're going to make a curved line. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to make a curved line. So it looks something like this. So I'm going to go here. That's where one arm is going to be. And then over here, I'm going to make another arm. All right. So my curved line is going to go like this. There's one. And then I'm going to make another one over here. And there's another one. Okay, so there's my other one. This does not look like a panda yet, does it? It's like, whoa, what is it? What are we making? What are we making? Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to give him some paws. 
So we're going to start here at the end of our curved line and we're going to bring it around like this. Bring it around. So there's one of the paws right there. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Make his paws like that. Now I try to get them even, but sometimes it's tricky. So try a couple times. I might want to fix that one. I don't want that one so big. There we go. Now, if you guys like this project or you like this video, make sure you give a like or a love. You can give it a heart if you like it. That helps me know what you think. Okay, so there's that. All right, so now what we want to do is we want this to look like it's connected to the body, right? We want this to look like it's connected to the body. So you start here. And you're going to draw up like this until you get to his head, right here. So you start at the paw and you draw up till you get to the head. And you do the same thing on the other side. This does not look like a panda, does it? Not yet. We'll get there, though. We will get there. Okay, now what we want to do is we are going to jump down here and we're going to work on his feet. We're going to work on his feet. So the very first thing we're going to do is look at his feet. Let's look at them. So they are, you see this shape right here? This is shaped like a oval. So we're going to make an oval first. So we have two ovals, right? So we're going to make the ovals first. All right, so I'm going to put one oval over here in the corner. Like this. I'm sketching it out. There's one oval. Right there. And then I'm going to put the other oval over here. Now, if it goes off of the page a little, that's okay. Maybe, you you know, he's a, he's a cropped picture. A cropped picture just means you only see part of it. And sometimes it makes it more interesting. I think I'm able to fix it all, though. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn this over and see how it looks. Okay. I think actually this one, I'm going to scooch over here just a little bit. I'm going to scooch it just a tiny bit. Scooch, scooch. So this one's going to go like over here. I'm going to make it go over here a little bit. I, I think I got it too far apart. There we go. Okay, there's your oval. So foot one, foot two. So we've got two feet. So now what we want to do from here is we are going to actually, you're going to draw the heart. So that's what we're going to do now. You're going to draw the heart because the panda, he's holding on to the heart, right? So you're only going to draw part of the heart. You're only going to draw part of the heart. Part of the heart. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a dot right here. And I'm going to draw up and over. This is the top part of the heart. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Here, start at the dot, go up and over like this. And then what I like to do is I like to pretend like the heart keeps going. Now, I don't draw through this part because then I would ruin it. So I kind of just pretend like I'm drawing and I'm like, okay, well, I'll probably go like this. 
the, the this part, the point of the heart usually lines up with this one. So I can see, oh, okay, I should end right here. Here we go. It's a good place to end. And then I'm going to keep going this way and draw to here. There we go. Now the panda's holding the heart. Now we got to do something with these legs, the feet, because right now they do not, we don't know what we're dealing with right here, right? They look kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is right here at the bottom of your oval, you are going to draw a line over to the heart like that. Draw a line over to the heart. That's going to be the bottom of one leg. And then this one, you're going to draw a line over here. And my, my heart's tilted too much, so I'm just going to go like this. That's the bottom of his leg right here. Now we need to work on making the top part of his leg. So from here, so here and over here we need to work on. So at the top right here, you're going to start on your oval. I always start over here. I come up a little bit. I come up and then over like this. And then I go down a little bit. Let me show you that again. Start at the oval, go up from the oval, around the oval, and then stop. And then you're going to draw a line like this until you get to the heart. And so there's one of his legs. If you want to make it a little thicker, you can. Make it a little thicker. You could definitely make it thicker if you want to. Again, you start over here on the oval, draw straight up, over. You're not drawing on the oval, you're drawing away from it. And then draw over until you get to the heart or one of his paws. Okay, now let's do the same thing over on the other side. So you wanna start at your oval right here. This is a little tricky, so I'll show you. Start at the oval, come up and over. This is what I'm doing this part right here. I'm drawing this part right here. So I started on this side of the oval. I go up around the top of the oval, down like that, not all the way, because this is, this is part of his leg right here, this is his foot. And then I'm gonna draw until I get to the heart. Now, one of the legs, this leg, is obviously much shorter than this leg, but that's okay, because the angle of the picture, maybe it's just you see more of this leg than you do this leg. Sometimes that happens. Or you know what else you can do if you want to cover that up a little bit? Make your heart bigger like that. You can always make your heart bigger. There's always ways to cover things up. So I'm just going to make my heart a little bit bigger. Then I don't have to draw as much. There we go. All right. This does not look like a panda yet, does it? It does not quite look like a panda, but we're going to get there. You watch and see. You watch and see. I love how this all comes together. All right, so I'm going to wait a couple seconds because I don't want to move too fast. I know everybody works at, di at a different pace. How's everybody doing so far?
All right. Draw straight up. Over. You're not drawing on the hole. You're drawing away from it. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to focus now on the face, right? We got to focus on the face here. So pandas, we need to make this part of the panda right here, this part. So what we're going to do is this is kind of like an, this is kind of like an oval, except it dips down a little bit. So I make, uh, it's a, towards the bottom of his head, make a curved line. There's a curved line like that. And then you're going to bring it down, bring it down. So it kind of goes past, past his head just a little bit like this, past his head, just at, see how I made it. Let me show you. See how I made it go past the head just a little bit. That's what you want to do. You want it to go past the head just a little bit. Good. Everybody's doing good. I'm glad. Go past the head just a little bit. Like so there's that part. Past the head just a little bit. Now what I want to do is I want to give him a nose. So his nose, there's there's the nose right there. So the nose is also another oval. And that's kind of you can put it right in the middle of this of this shape we just made. Mine I got towards the top a little bit, but that's okay. So there's the there's the nose. Now you see this these lines in here? If you have any lines in here or any drawings in this part where his mouth is going to go, you want to erase it. So I'm going to take my eraser and all these extra lines that I have in here, I'm going to get rid of. This is why you want to draw lightly so it's easier to erase because you always have to erase when you're drawing something new. Always. Even when you draw something a bunch of times, you still, have, you still end up erasing. There we go. So now it's nice and clean. See that? Okay, so go back to your pencil and draw a line down and then over like this. And same thing on the other side. Like that. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I love these. All right, there you go. Now what's next is we need to add the eyes. So do you see these shapes right here? We've got more ovals, more oval-like shapes. And notice where they're touching. They're touching the nose area. So they're touching the nose area. So I start at the nose area and I draw and I kind of have them slanted a little. I draw one here. So these are ovals. There's one. One there. And then I want to draw the other one, another one on the other side. When you are done with this project, I hope that you'll send it to me. You can post it here in the comments. You can send, send it to me as a message, a private message, or you can post it and tag me. But I would love to see how these turn out. It's so much fun. All right, now this one, this one looks a little bit different than this one. Tell you what, sometimes drawing upside down is real tricky. Other times, it's not so bad, but sometimes it can be very tricky. There you go. There we go. Okay. Now inside of here, we need to make some circles. Circle here. 
there's one circle and then another circle. And then we got to make the pupils. So we got a circle here and then a circle here. Now, one thing that we must add that really makes this look like a panda is the ears. So we've got to add the ears. Now, don't worry, this one, you can see that it looks like the ears are furry because of this irregular line, but don't worry about that right now. So what we're gonna do is you're going to draw a curved line, almost like a full circle, but not quite a full circle. So one over on this side, And then one over on this side. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh, so cute. These are so cute. I just want to give this guy a hug. I wish I could just snap my fingers and he'd come to life. Wouldn't that be awesome? All right, one more thing that we have to draw is the, um, what's on the bottom of his, uh, on his feet, on his paws. So we're gonna draw a curved line like this. It's a sad face. One over there, one over here. And then you can make the bottom of it kind of look like that. Kind of looks like a ghost, you know what I mean? Looks like a ghost. It looks like a ghost. All right, and then we're gonna make little ovals here. So we've got one, two, three and four. And then over here, one, two, three and four. There we go. All right, so we are now done with the drawing portion of this project. So we're all done with the drawing portion. We're all done with the drawing portion. So the next thing that we want to do is you're going to get a Sharpie marker. You want to get a Sharpie and you're going to Sharpie. You're going to outline everything. If you don't have a Sharpie marker, just find some sort of black writing utensils. I have to grab my Sharpie. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my Sharpie. So what you want to do with this is you're going to take this and you're going to Sharpie all of the pencil lines that you like. So all the pencil lines that you like. So I'm going to start sharpening. I'm going to start up towards the head and I want to show you how to make it, how to make this panda look like he has fur. See how these lines are irregular right here? So watch what I do. So all I do, and this is pretty easy, I have this nice curved line right here. So I use that to help me and I start on that curved line and then I just kind of make like a wiggly line along it. Like that. Just like that. I'll do the same thing on the other one. There we go. And then I'm going to outline his head. Well, you can make it if you want to make it a little wiggly there too. You can. You know, because pandas are they're they're furry. There we go. And then I'm going to go around and do this part. You can do the same thing here. Make it a little wavy, a little wiggly. Same thing over here. Make it a little wiggly if you want to. This just makes him look like he's got fur.
like that. There we go. And then I'm going to jump down here and do his legs. I'm going to do the same thing. Make him look a little wiggly. And I'm going to make it nice and smooth here. And a little wiggly here. And I'm going to come over here and make it a little wiggly. And then smooth. And then a little wiggly. Like that. Now the rest of it, I'm just going to trace regular. Now I like using Sharpies for a couple reasons. Number one, they're not super expensive, right? They're not a super expensive art supply. Number two, why I like using them is because after you outline, you can take an eraser and you can just erase right over top of it. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't blend because it's a permanent marker. So it stays in place. And I like using a Sharpie because it makes everything look really crisp and clean. Now you don't always want it to look crisp and clean, but sometimes you do. And those times that I want it to look crisp and clean, Sharpies are my go-to. Now you have quite a bit of area to color in that is black. So you have a choice here. You can choose your Sharpie and color it all in black. It's a lot of coloring with a Sharpie. Or you can use another coloring utensil. Maybe you wanna use a, mark, a different kind of marker, or maybe you wanna use a crayon or um, a colored pencil. Um, so you, you really have your choice of what you wanna do. I do want to show you how to use your Sharpie to color in that nose and also the pupils, but I want to show you how to do it so you can give a highlight. A highlight are those white areas that uh, the light is touching and so they look white. So what you do, so here we go, there's my panda, he's all outlined. So let me show you how to color in the nose and the pupils. So. I am going to color in my nose and watch what I do. So I'm gonna color my nose in. And as I get towards the center of my nose, I am not going to color it all in. I am going to leave a tiny little area white, just like that. So that is my highlight. Looks like the light is shining on the nose. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the pupils. So I'm going to color them almost all the way in. Except I'm going to leave a little white spot. Again, color them all the way in. But leave a little white spot. There we go. Look at how cute. So adorable. Okay, so I am done with my Sharpie at the moment. I'm going to set it down and I'm going to take my eraser. Now I have a ton of pencil lines. Look at all my, my sketch lines. There's, they're everywhere. So I'm going to erase those. So I'm going to erase those, get rid of them all. I love this eraser. It's called a pink pearl. I feel like they work the best. The best. I love them. Hi. Okay. Now, what color, you guys, you can color in um, your heart any color you want. What color are you going to color your heart in? Have you decided? Pink, red, purple. Or are you going to use like the traditional Valentine's Day colors? Are you going to go with something totally different? Or are you going to do multiple colors? You could do like rainbow. You could do ombre. You could do a pattern. My goodness, you could do anything. You could even draw another heart inside.
This one that I did, I used colored pencils and I, um, I used purple and then I used dark blue so I could show that there was a shadow, some shadowing. All right, so I'm actually gonna wait on coloring the black part of the panda because I feel like there's a lot of other things that we should color before we color the panda. So let's look at the panda and decide what colors we wanna use. All right, there we go. I am ready to add some color now. There we go. So I am ready to add color. Now I'm gonna be using colored pencils. Um, I like colored pencils. Uh, I like using a specific brand of colored pencil, especially I use Prisma colors. Um, they are, they are so much fun. So the first thing that I am going to color in is I'm going to use gray. I have my gray. So you see the pads of the feet. These parts are typically like a gray. Um, that's what I'm going to use for mine. So I'm going to color these in gray with colored pencils. No, you can pick any color you want. It doesn't have to be gray. In fact, I believe that the, the color that they, I think they're black on the bottom. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. Now I need to look up a picture of a panda. Let's see. And then over here, I'm going to color this in. And then I'm going to color these in. Now I like to make the bottom of the feet. I like to use pink. Look what I did on this one. This is pink. These are pink right here. So I'm going to use colored pencil again. Set my gray down. Get myself a pink here. There's my pink that I'm going to use. This is kind of like a peach pink. It's called blush pink. So this is going to be blush pink. Now when I use colored pencil, I try to cover it really well. And I also like to color in one direction so it doesn't look scratchy. And I like to get rid of all my ghosties. Ghosties are the white spots. So I hope that you join in with the color challenge. I keep thinking about what am I going to wear tomorrow? I have I have lots of pink and um, red, but I have a ton of magenta stuff. I love magenta. Ooh, in fact, you know what I might wear tomorrow? I just got a new sweater that it's black, but it has a huge magenta heart on the front of it. So I might wear that tomorrow. You have to you have to check Facebook and see what I wear tomorrow because I'll share. Oh, you're still outlining? Yeah, the outlining does take a while. And all we're doing now is we're coloring in. So once you're done outlining, you're coloring in. Okay, so we just colored in the pads of the feet. We used gray and pink. And I'm using colored pencils right now. All right, now I'm going to jump up to the eyes. So your eyes, they can be any color you want. With this one, I used blue. So I use light blue and then I went over it with dark blue. So I'm going to grab the blues here. Here's a light blue and then um, a dark blue. So I'm going to use those. I got to give them a sharpen though. They're, they're pretty dull. So I have to tell you guys a secret. Art supplies, you know, can be very expensive. And I have tried so many different types of sharpeners, tons of sharpeners. And the, this one right here, this comes in a pack of like eight. And they are at the Dollar Tree, a pack of eight of them for $1. And they are, I'm not kidding you, the best sharpeners I have ever used. They're better than the expensive ones. 
they work so I mean look at that look at that sharp tip and it doesn't break the pencils they work so good so Dollar Tree a dollar and you get like eight of them they work so good all right so there's my pencil so I'm going to use the light color first I'm going to color in this part of the eye color it in real good now if you press super super hard you'll probably break the tip probably break the tip which we don't want that to happen Come over here, color this in. There we go. And then I'm going to take a little bit, this darker blue, and I'm going to add a little bit of darker blue in here around the pupil. The pupil is the black part. So I'm going to add a little bit of this darker blue just to, you know, just to jazz it up, make the eyes seem more real, make them look more alive. This is why I like using colored pencils for this, this part, because I can, um, I can layer the colors nicely. Okay, there we go. Look at how good those eyes look. Don't those look great. I think they look awesome. I think they look awesome. All right, so I did pads of the feet. I did the eyes, what's left? So the next thing that I need to do is my heart. So I'm gonna do my heart. So my heart, hmm, what color do I wanna use? I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm actually gonna go with red. I'm gonna use red and pink for this, red and pink. Um, I just use pink, so I'll do this again. So I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to color the whole heart in with pink. Again, I'm using colored pencils. Um, you don't have to use colored pencils, but I'm showing you colored pencils so you can uh, you can use the same trick if you want to. So I'm going to color the whole heart in one color first and that's this pink. So I'm coloring it in pink first. Color, color, color. Try to get rid of all my ghosties. Ghosties are the white spots, and it just means you need more color. That's it. You don't want ghosties. No ghosties. Kind of have to be like a an art detective. Do you spy any ghosties with your little eye? And if you do, get rid of them. Get rid of those ghosties. Again, if you guys like this art project, be sure you give this video a like. Make sure you share your project. I can't wait to see these. I bet they are so cute. So cute. Also, I wanted to share some news. So once a month, I will be doing a free Facebook Live art class. Once a month. I'll try to do it at the beginning of the month so hopefully you know the first of every month I can do one um, unless it's like on a weekend and I'm super busy then that really won't happen but I will be doing a free live art class on Facebook once a month and then of course I'll be teaching a whole bunch of other ones for a small fee that helps me run the website and all the other stuff um, so those would just be throughout every month. And, and there's a whole bunch of them that you can check out on the website if you want to take more art classes now. All right, so there's the pink. All right, this is super cool. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to blend. I'm going to put some of the red right over top. So if you were, if you were this panda bear and you were holding on to a giant heart like this, your paws, they would create a little bit of a shadow. Right? They would be make a little bit of a shadow on the heart. So I'm going to use this red and make a shadow. So I'm going to color around the, the, the paws just a little bit. Go around the paws like this and make a little bit of a shadow. This will help to make it look a little bit more 3D so it doesn't look so flat. A little bit of a shadow and I'm using a, I'm using a darker color. 
This color that I'm using is called pomegranate. This is called pomegranate. There we go. Now, as I get away from the paws, I don't press as hard. I press lighter and lighter. Something like this. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It goes dark around the edges here. Around the paw. You see how I'm kind of going, I'm following the direction of the paw. I'm going in a, I'm kind of coloring round or curved. I'm not coloring scratchy. I'm not going this way and then this way and then this way. I'm kind of going in one direction. There we go. All right, here we go. Check it out. Now I have some nice shadowing in there. So cute. So cute. Now you could give this panda all kinds of other stuff. If you wanted to give this panda um, a bow, you could give it a bow. You know, you could draw a bow up here. You could give it a birthday hat. Um, you could put a bunch of hearts up in it up here on his head. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. What I did with my panda picture is I made a pattern of hearts in the back behind him, kind of like it was wallpaper behind him. So if you wanted to do that, all you would simply do is you would, you know, you would pick, a, you would pick a spot. So I'm going to start here and then I would draw a heart. There's one. You could switch your color if you want to. I guess I'll go with this one. I'm going to put one right in the middle. So here's another one. And then see how it's behind him? So it looks like this is like wallpaper behind him. Okay, and one more here. And then I can color these in. And you can do other things to these too. You can make little lines around them if you want to. It makes them look like they're pulsing. So if you want it to look like they're pulsing, you can do lines around it like this. Kind of like a like a twinkling heart. Twinkling heart. I've got another twinkling heart over here. There we got some twinkling hearts. Now if you want to do another row of them, you can. You can make as many as you'd like. And then you color them in however you'd like. There we go, color, color, color. And there's that. And then of course, yeah, I would color the other ones, you know, add lots of color. The last and final thing that you wanna do is you want to 
color your panda black. So there's a lot of parts that are black on him. So his legs are all, this is all black here, 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 all of this. His arms are all black. This part right here, his belly is white. So you want to leave that white. His belly is all white. All this stuff around his face right here, that's white. But right here, this is all black. This is all black in here. This is all black. And then his ears are black. So that's all of the black. So he looks kind of crazy right now. But that's all the stuff that you'll want to color in black. So you can use any kind of coloring utensil that you would like. Um, it does use a lot of Sharpie if you color it all in with Sharpie. Um, you could use crayon. You could use oil pastel. You could use colored pencil. Um, you know, any, any other coloring utensil that you have, you could use. Now, if you do use marker, I'm going to share something with you. Markers, you don't want to use, make scratchy lines. And what do I mean by that? So scratchy lines is when you color something in and you go like this, you color this way and then you change direction Then you color this way and then you color this way. And then you have all these lines all over the place that look like this. That's real scribbly. Instead of doing that, you want to go in one direction. So you might want to go like up and down like this. And look at how that fills it in so much faster. So you can fill it in much faster and it looks so much nicer when you're done. And then of course you go back and you touch up any ghosties, any spots that you missed. But this makes it look so nice when you color it in instead of it being all, you know, like this, all scribbly like that. So you want to color it in nice. And I always color it in, I go in one direction. I don't scribble. And then it, you know, scribbling makes it, it just makes it look so scratchy. Let's look at the difference here. Let's, let's see. Let's see what you guys think. What do you think, when, which, which one do you think looks better? Let's see, and then I color it in this way, you know, blah, 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 blah. Which way looks better? Definitely this way, I think. This way is very, very scratchy, all right? So you're going to finish coloring all of this in with the writing utensil of your choice. Finish decorating the background. And then you have your love panda. You have your love panda. Does anybody have any questions? You can put your questions in the comment box questions or any comment that you would like to share. Did you like this project? Be sure to check out all the other projects on the website. There's so many fun ones. Oh my goodness, so many. No, so if you don't have any questions, that was the last thing I wanted to show you is how to color this in, you know, use going in one direction. Miles, my cat Miles is is uh, making all kinds of noise and stealing my seat. He steals my seats all the time. There we go. So you're just gonna keep working on coloring this in and then we are done. And there you go. That's how they look when they're finished. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Yay! Yay! I'm so glad. I am so glad. So here it is. Oh, there. Can you see Miles? There's Miles the cat. Miles, you're going to say hello? Here he is. Hi. This is Miles the cat. There he is. He steals my seat all the time. Oh, I'm so glad you love this project. Uh, be sure if you liked it. Like, you know, if you like this, if this class and this project, make sure you like this video. And um, I hope that you'll join in on the color challenge today. I wore my Wonder Woman sweater. It was chilly outside today and I had to be out and about in it. So I, I was like, who to wear my Wonder Woman sweater? And um, today was the perfect day for it. So I hope that you, I hope that you had a good time. I hope that you learned something new and that I hope you will continue to draw this over and over again because the more you draw it, the better you get. You have to draw it many, many, many times to get really good at it. So now that you know how to draw 
this love panda. I challenge you to draw it again and be sure that you share your work with me so I can see what you created. But does anybody have anything else to say? Ah, oh, I'm so glad you had fun. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. All righty. Well, be sure to visit the website and see everything that's coming. I also try to put everything, well, I put everything on Facebook every day. Um, so if you, you know, if you need to um, join the group, the RLB Art Studio group, I put everything on the RLB Art Studio um, Facebook page and I share it to the group. So if you're in the group, then you'll be notified of stuff. Okay. Well, thanks again, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful night and I hope that I see you soon. Bye-bye.